Hello guys, welcome to the computer link, and welcome to those of you who are transitioning from Omega.org.com to the computer link channel, as I have moved, and this is the better channel, I guess. The other one was full of me when I was 10 years old, talking about things I didn't know about. So anyway, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to change your icons in Windows 7. Now there are three methods, and I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, First method is going to be how to change it in the start bar. Second method is going to change or show you how to change it in the task bar. Don't like the second method. I wouldn't recommend it, but you can still use it. And the third method is my favorite and the most reliable method. So that was really weird. I was pulling my holding on my fingers. I'm kind of an idiot, but uh, anyway, um, that's besides the point. The first thing is to understand about changing an icon is why does the icon change, like philosophy in college. So why does the icon change exactly? Because you're not actually changing the program icon, you're changing the icon of the shortcut. So you see all of these here are changed icons from the theme, or the iPhone theme, Matt Nano. I just converted the PNGs into an ICO and was able to add them here. And none of these are actual programs, they're actual shortcuts. And by default, for example, if I were to type in internet Explorer. You see the iTunes icon, because I did it in a previous take, but it didn't work out. Um, so that you see that's an iTunes icon. But for example, that, that that's the shortcut name. The actual program name is iExplore. Oops, I, I, yeah, see? iExplore. I don't know why they didn't call it iExplorer, it's just iExplore. See, this, if that kind of makes sense. So... I don't think any of these are going to work. I'm going to try this I call install phone or whatnot, something like that. So, how to change an icon on a start menu? What you want to do is right click on the program name, go to properties, and then on 99% of them, change icon will be enabled. Some of them don't work exactly. It's kind of a hassle to do some of them because you have like office ones are more of a hassle and then one programs like iTunes you just cannot do it no matter what like the thing is um if you can't add a shortcut and change it you can't you can't even like go in through a micro and jello or put an icon changer that actually changes the physical program icon itself um when you do that it corrupts the program name or not the name but the program itself so iTunes is one of the few that you cannot change, no matter what. So, that's just the downside of it. Anyway, to change the icon, you click Change Icon. And on 99% of them, that will be enabled, unless they change it. So, I'm going to change it to this cool green phone looking thing. I'm going to apply it. Okay, so, next, if I were to type in I call, see, it shows up with that. And for to launch the application, it's going to launch with its icon. See? How cool is that? I hate this program because it doesn't ever close it. See, look at that. It's in the tray. It's in the tray. I hate programs that go in the tray. Unless I want them in the tray. So, that's how you change one on the start menu. Now, next method I'm going to show you is how to change one that's already in the taskbar. I don't recommend this method. It's really weird. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. Um, so, to do it, what you want to do is I'm going to pull up a program I haven't changed. Like, I'll just use image ready. Okay, so image ready. So now this method involves right clicking on the icon, and then you'll see the close window, pin program to taskbar, and the program name itself for the shortcut name. So Adobe Image Ready 7.0. So I'm gonna right click on the shortcut name, go to properties, and You'll see change icon is enabled. Change the icon, I'm going to change it to, oh my gosh. That's a lot of icons. This is duck, how random is that? Apply. Now, you see it didn't change. Why is that? I don't know. It's because Explorer has to refresh its icons every so often. See, that's why I hate this method. It's because it's, it's an easy way to do it at first, but then you got to refresh Explorer. Now, this might work, it might not. So we're going to type in, um, task manager and pull it up. Nope, didn't want to do that. Uh, what I'm going to do is do file, new task, run. I'm going to task kill explorer. See, I've task killed a lot of programs in my past. <laughs> Proves you that, that Windows isn't, or Windows 7 isn't unfortunately the greatest thing it was designed to be. So I'm going to kill explorer and voila, everything's gone. File, new task run. Oops. 
for. Okay, run the application and it's back and the icons changed. Now, it's a pain, I know. So that, that's just one downside to using that method is because it gets to refresh Explorer every time you do it. So that's why I don't like it, but, and sometimes it's not reliable. But sometimes it's, if you really don't, if you want to change it quickly and, or something like that, then you can do it. I don't know why you wouldn't want to change use this next method that I'm going to show you, but it's it's quicker, so, oh well. Um, the next method I'm going to show you is by far the most reliable method for pinning an icon to this taskbar. So I'm going to show the icons, and you'll see here I've already changed some of these. So, um, right here, oh, why did I delete that? Dang it. So, for example, all of these icons here, there's a shortcuts folder in my documents folder that contains all of these as shortcuts. So I'll show you what I mean. So what I did is I pinned the shortcut to the taskbar. So I'm going to find a program somewhere. Don't know where. No, let's, use, let's use Internet Explorer again. Um, oops. I'll just call it... Um, no, I don't know. What's a, what's a good name for it? It's kind of undescribable. Hate Internet Explorer. Let's just call it IE Fail. That's not that funny, but anyway. So you see, it's uh, the hideous looking E, which it actually isn't that hideous, but oh well. And what you want to do is right click on it, go to properties, and change icon. Now, 99% of the time, it's going to be enabled as well. Unless it's iTunes, which it won't work in that case. So, and, for, and by the way, for those programs that you can't change the icon like that, it's impossible to change it. Anyway else. Because it's, I don't know, that's just the pain it is. So, I'm going to change it to this home icon because I don't have time to browse around. Okay, and I see IE fail. I'm going to click this and drag it onto the taskbar. Now it's pinned, so for it to pull up Internet Explorer, it uses this icon. Oh, that's charming. So, if that makes sense. Now, the next thing I'm going to tell or talk to you about, because I've shown you all the methods. Now, the ne this next thing I'm going to show you is how you can change the office icons. And the office icons are one of the few that are kind of messed up, and you can't really change the icons up easily. So, by default, say if I were to pull up, oh, what's I change? Um, one, one note. So, I pull up one note here. So, I'm going to go regular, right click, properties, <gasps> change icon is faded out. Why? Oh, look at this. Target. Microsoft Office Professional Plus 2010 Beta. That's the problem, is the target isn't valid. I don't know how Windows is able to translate that. I don't know. It's, it's, it's really weird. So, to do that, there's, there's a get around around it. So, you want to create a new shortcut here. So, like, new shortcut. Now, it's... You want to go to your uh, hard drive, which is typically C. Program files. Oops, missed it there. Microsoft Office, Office 14, and then it's probably going to be MS OneNote. Nope. Okay, so you probably need one of these. MS Access, MSN, MSO, MS Pub, MS Store, MS Word. Okay, you know what? It's in here somewhere. Is it? Element no. I'm not seeing it. Oh, here we go. One note today. I see. Hmm. I think it was that. Okay. Click next. Um. We'll just do one note. Yeah, so you see, it's a shortcut now. Now it's a it's a default or by default the shortcut's going to be the program, or the icon of the shortcut is going to be the icon of the program. So to change that. Typical or typically, you could right-click properties, and it's enabled. And that's because you have to change it into the. You have to change the shortcut to go into the program name itself. So I'm just going to change the icon to, for example, uh, red highlight icon or ICO. Don't know what it's for, but okay. Apply. Okay, so see, I changed the one note icon, and I can pin this to the taskbar if I wanted to. Voila, it's a red dot. 
Okay, <laughs> and those are all the methods, and that should cover everything that you need to know about change or customizing your icons in Windows 7. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day. And watch me stop this recording. Thanks, have a good day.